Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of Into the Breach. God, I'm recording this super late at night. I shouldn't be playing this late at night because I'm going to make stupid mistakes. But hey, stupid mistakes are to be made in roguelikes, aren't they? Alright, this is Island 2. Quite a bit difficult, more difficult than Island 1. This fucking volatile vect. I guess I can only avoid this mission for so long. Uh... It'll explode if you kill it, drive it off instead. <sighs> Guessing I know which one it is. How am I gonna not kill this thing? Uh, I really need to use my uh, artillery mech. So welcome back to episode 2. I don't know how long I last here, but hey. We will see. We will see. Cool. So this stage right here, fairly easy. Uh, I will push this guy out of the way. We'll take our little... Shit, I just made a mistake. Hmm. We'll move our artillery guy. Oh, that's not gonna work either. Actually is gonna work because we'll go right here push this guy back and take out this motherfucker cool right now everything is going swimmingly oh is that what that stupid beetle does i forgot did he just give them armor i think he just gave them armor Shouldn't be a problem. Except my tank. Okay, listen, this is how we're gonna do it. Actually, I don't know how we're gonna do it, because I need to get my tank out of there. Somehow. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna damage it, though. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is quite a pickle. This guy does have a lot of HP, but this thing deals three... God, three ticks of damage. It's a lot. And the fact that that's gonna get pushed into... Okay, we gotta do something. We gotta do something. If I shoot this guy... Oh, but then I, that's not gonna... Get him to... F Hold on a second. Genius. Official genius. Except now I don't have a way to stop this thing from attacking the... Hmm. I put myself in a shitty situation. I just realized it. It's not gonna work though, is it? The question is, do I restart the turn? Or do I not? Because we gotta go kill this thing as well. Fuck it. We'll take one grid damage. After a while, it's unavoidable. Yeah. This is still the most optimal thing we could do. I feel like it is. Just gotta get rid of this stupid beetle. This beetle is so goddamn annoying. Uh, you'll see. This is actually an enemy that shows up fairly frequently. Okay, block him. Push him out of the way. Hold on. The building immunity. Yes. I knew it. I knew this building immunity was gonna come in handy. Could it? No, I'm not gonna attack it. I'm not gonna do anything. We have two more turns, and this is going about as well as it could be. Let's block as many enemies as you can. Yes. I see. I see. Fuck though, how am I gonna get... 
Wait, can this guy move? Yes. He's gonna survive. Yeah, he's gonna survive. Cool. We pushed him out of the way. Can move here. Push this guy back. But you know, you can see what I mean by the fact that these islands are getting quite a bit more difficult. Question is, should I just repair and take the brunt of the attack? Yes. I think that's the best thing we can do. Yeah, and two damage, it's not gonna do anything. It's like, whatever. The most important thing is completing the side objectives. Excellent. That went down without a hitch. That indeed did. But yeah, as you start moving towards the island, uh, dz, it just gets a lot more... A uh, lot crazier. Defend the prototype Ramfield bomb. We'll go here, because... Obviously we are full on grit power, so we can go for reputation instead. Two hold, holds two warns head design, blah, blah, can't even talk. Okay. What do we gotta do with these things? Oh, we gotta defend them. Cool. And of course we have a time pod. Yeah, this this woman is kind of crotchety, you'll notice. It's such a funny word. It's one of the funniest words, crotchety. Is that gonna push them? It ain't. Doesn't matter though, because we move forward. Actually. Gotta get him closer to the time pod. No, 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 we'll be fine. Push you there. Oh, that's not gonna work though. Not gonna be able to push the... Or do I take my damage? I mean, it's one point of damage worth Preventing Vex spawning? I think so, yeah. We can always repair, and we have plenty of HP. It's one thing we got going for us. Because that's the thing, these artillery motherfuckers can be quite a big problem. Okay. Let's just think this over. I could get the time pod, but I will miss out on being able to hit a shot. I think we'll take... We'll take the kill here. What we might also be able to do... Or we could just go for the kill, which is not gonna work here. Let me just try out some options here. And that would push him, but it wouldn't kill him. Hmm. Guess I'm not gonna be able to prevent spawning. We'll do it like this instead. We'll do it like this instead. I should have moved with him before. That was stupid. I made a mistake. I should have moved. Just to be closer to the VEC. There are inevitably gonna be spawning. This blue motherfucker is so goddamn annoying. First of all, it does that. And second of all... There's no second of all. Just does a lot of damage too. If I move you... Ah, that's gonna damage the bomb. 
What it's not gonna do. See, but I'm, I'm not gonna be able to pick it up though, because then the bomb is gonna get damaged. Hmm. But he's gonna take a lot of damage. That does one, and he does. Oh shit, that does work. And I can still move it, of course, because it pushes them. Damn. Fucking awesome. The thing is with this game, though, sometimes shit just works out in your favor. You know, it does happen. It can happen. And when it does... It's just, you know, it's a good feeling. Uh-oh. Should be able to kill him. So. We could go for that. Sacrifice one more HP. In fact, we're gonna do that. You come down here. Do some serious artillery damage. And you can move here. And blast this fucker. Oh wait, no! I just destroyed a mountain. And I forgot the fucking... The, I forgot the grid. Ah, uh, I miscalculated. That wouldn't have been a way to avoid uh, not taking grid damage there anyways. Hmm. Oh well. That still worked out fairly well, I would say. I don't know. Hopefully I'm inspiring some people to at least check this game out because it's dirt cheap in this game. Like, this game is dirt cheap. So you can just kind of like, you know, pick it up, play it. It really does remind me of The Binding of Isaac in a lot of ways. In that, uh, and it's just, you can just like play it over and over and over again. And it's just a different feeling roguelike compared to a lot of the other ones. What do we need to do? Less than three grid damage. Protect the emergency battery Z, which I'm guessing are these but believe me when I say that things can quickly fall apart what is that? hopefully they won't fall apart cool I'll take that. I'll take pushing you on to there. I could also push him there. It doesn't matter. When you think about it, it all works out the same way in the end. Oh, I see. Shit is falling apart, basically. That's all we can say. Did I, am, am, I, am I knocking into my mic? I am. That's stupid of me. That's probably gonna sound shit. That I really can't talk. I've lost the ability to speak. It's probably gonna sound like shit on the mic, so... Apologies in advance. Can I knock you down the cliff? I can't. I'm afraid I'm gonna be boxed in if I don't do something with this dude. The artillery mech, I mean. Hmm. We gotta get rid of that jumping motherfucker. But I think what we can do... Is... Oh, uh, shit. It's not good. It don't work. I'm trying to at least like get rid of a couple of these guys. 
you know what? Oh, but he moves, doesn't he? He does move. But if I push him... Screw it. That's what we're gonna do. Unfortunately, you, you cannot repair each other. That would be nice. I could have killed him because I forgot that environmental interactions and stuff happen first. Oh well. Ah well. <laughs> Get away from the windows. That's pretty funny. Okay. Listen here. That should be a kill. This thing is poised to kill his little buddy, but you're not gonna let him do that. Instead, we'll push him into the ground or into the hole. I miscalculated. When you have something like this happen, that's when you reset your turn. Yeah, I forgot about this dude. So we're gonna need to... Recalculate. I'm wondering if... This wouldn't work. Uh huh. I need to, I need to kill I need to find a way to kill that thing. Or that does work. And then tank boy. He can take some damage. Except the problem is he's not gonna kill. Someone will need to take one for the team. Tank boy. He can dish out some damage. And take some damage too. Oh, did I just lock my artillery mech? I did. I screwed him, didn't I? Won't be able to get to that side though. It's okay, there's only one more turn left. I think we should be okay. In fact, we are very much okay. I don't even need to do anything else, but... I feel like killing this thing. And you, just repair yourself. Despite the fact that I managed to do a pretty boneheaded move, which is locking, locking my artillery mech, trapping it on the other side, that actually went okay as well. This is probably the best I've ever done in this game, in terms of just how things are going. What is this? High threat detected, defend the terraformer, terraformer, the gra terraform the grasslands back to desert. Okay, that's an interesting, that's an interesting uh, objective. So you could go for one of these special missions. The one that has three rewards also has more difficult, you know, requirements. Hmm, there's some Vex spawned already. Oh, do I want to go and make my life difficult? Well, things have been going very well. I don't see why I can't. Let's just give it our all. Of course he would do that. Alright. So far so good. Use it to turn grass tiles into sand tiles. Okay. I got you. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Hmm, 
I got screwed over by spawn, because how am I going to get rid of that thing? I'm still dead if I do this. Dead as a dodo. <clears throat> well, this game has just given me... Quite a... Unless, no. We are okay. Much better. Much, much better. We can fuck off out there. Ah, but it has armor. And it doesn't have, though. Is building immune rockets. So what does this thing do? Eradicate all life in front of the terraformer. Okay. I definitely want to use that. Hell yeah. That sounds like an awesome plan. Wish I'd known that earlier because I would have started with that. We gotta get rid of that fucking thing. And this thing. These two, these two need to go. Oh, that would be a nice conga line of damage. That I can't get to. Okay, whatever. You come over here. Oh, that's gonna work out swimmingly. You come over here. Wait, who's shooting at... Ah. I see I see the mistake I made. Can I bring my tank over though? Yeah, I can. In fact, I can do this. Bring Oh, but he's he's not going to block it though, is he? Yeah, he's not going to block it. It's okay, better to get rid of this thing. Ooh. No, no. It works out. It works out. Ouch. That thing does a lot of damage. Should be able to get rid of it, which will make things a lot easier. I'm playing with fire here, because I could go and, in fact, I'm going to do j just that. And with you, we're going to push. No. Pretty sure that fog prevents shooting. Attack cancelled, exactly. And I could push him out there. I'm not fucking myself up, am I? I'm really not fucking myself up, because I can just do that. This mission is not as hard as it was advertised, you know. This advertises way, being way more difficult. Wait, can I just like... Hell yeah, I can. Just kill them. <laughs> That's it. Uh, yeah, we're good. Don't even need to do jack shit. That was the easiest shit I've ever done. Hell yeah, this game is sick. What do you mean? Terraform the... Oh. I'm stupid. I feel like when... I fail a mission with her, it feels like, you know, being told off by, like, the school principal or something. Destroy five goos? Excuse? Some sort of massive gelatinous creature? Whatever it is, don't let it reach the tower. God damn. I've not played this variation of this mission before. That's for sure. Large goo. 
Uh oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Let's get started. That indeed is a large goo. There is no other words that can be used to describe that thing other than indeed a large goo. Hmm, already we're in trouble. God damn it. The movement, the way these buildings are set up. I can't take, I think, can't take too much grid damage unless I play a trick. But I'm gonna take grid damage anyways, though. Because I can't push that thing out of there. The goo, I mean. Uh, yes, I can. It don't do enough damage. Isn't it gonna go straight into the water, though? If I just move out of the way? I think it is. We'll see what happens. Yep. GG's. GG's to the bug monster. He played it smart. Oh god, I gotta like really get rid of this thing. Somehow, because the armor it provides is very dangerous. Unless... That does do three damage. What's the objective? Destroy five goos, zero kills so far. Goddamn, roasting me here. Okay, you are going into the water, that's for sure. I fucked up. I fucked up. We're gonna have to reset. I forgot that pushes. So I did this. I did not do that. I fucking pushed him into the water like an... Ah, oh, I'm so stupid. I am very stupid. Hmm... Oh well, it's gonna be one grid damage, because I'm, I did things way too quickly, and that was a mistake. Ouch. How am I supposed to kill five of those things? At least the armor is gone. That makes things oh, slightly better. Okay, let me just do some calculation. Hmm, 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 hmm. I wasn't banking on this, honestly. Cause shit is kind of falling apart if I'm gonna be honest with you. This is what I mean, man. Like, one bad case of the RNG Jesus, and you are absolutely screwed. He's dead. There's no way I can rescue him. Because, yeah, no matter what I do. Yeah, my artillery is dead, which means probably I'm dead. Damn. That's really shitty. What? Wait, I just did some huge miscalculation. Because I pushed the fucking... Oh, man. It's all falling apart. No. How am I supposed to get five of those things? This is really bad. 
This is way worse than it can possibly be. Oh, that's how. That's how it works. Like, I can't stop them. I can't stop them from damaging the grid. Fuck. This is really stupid. I, I was so happy. Things are going so well. Unbelievably well, in fact. Oh, nice. Did I? Is that it? That was an insanely short mission. And this is the problem, boys. Understood. Poor Michael. Or is was that his name? Yeah. There's... See, now I'm short on a pilot. Um, the mechs do work by themselves, but... It doesn't work too well. I get two power back. Buildings gain shield after taking a hit. I always take that. And we can also again max gain one plus HP. I'll take all of those. And we can move. We can spend something. Yeah, grid. We can move on to the next island, which is probably going to end with my death. Because this one, this is where the game gets insanely difficult. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I think in terms of later on with this series, I am going to play. I'm going to finish this playthrough when I get back. Um, so yeah, that's fun. This game is fun. That episode was, that last part, man, I could have played that way better. It's unfortunate. Anyways, I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.